we at the very end of this mother. We at the very end now. And I'm at the end of my drink. So we're going to talk about Justin Timberlake. Jessalyn Timberflop. <clears throat> Jessalyn Timberpussy. Chapel same sex. So, <clears throat> he went ahead and um, did a performance at the Super Bowl halftime show. Not going to play that because <clears throat> y'all don't need to suffer through that again. But he did set show. It is upsetting that he did that show knowing that he and Janet Jackson had performed. From what I understand, the powers that be wanted a whole revealish thing to happen where he was supposed to pull off part of her uh, costume, <clears throat> not to show her breasts, but just something covering it. And he actually snatched off the whole entire thing. Her breast was shown on national television, or her breasts, shown on national television, and she suffered great scrutiny from that. Now, <clears throat> Janet Jackson's career has definitely suffered. His has definitely flourished. But I wonder why. He was called back. Well, he was called to do said show. Before I get into the show, for those of you who watch, <clears throat> if you don't know, I love Pink. Love singer Pink. I loved her since when she first came out with There You Go. Like, I still think she is the baddest. And if her and, you know, old boy care, you know, if they ever, you know, break up, call me. But, what I will say <clears throat> is she is the epitome of what a singer, of what a vocalist, and what a performer is and does. First and foremost, if you don't know what Pink does, check her credentials. Check some of her tours that have gone to DVD and see what she can do. Now, she had a cold. She could have definitely said, you know what, I'm going to sit this one out. She took out that throat loss. Now, was this the best vocal performance she has given? No, it wasn't. But I guarantee you, this vocal performance of the national anthem of the Star Spangled Battle was <clears throat> 20 times better than what the fuck Justin gave us. If you guys watch when Justin got the Michael Jackson Vanguard Award, literally what he gave us on Sunday was a watered-down version of that. <clears throat> it seemed like he was literally just walking through it. His backing track was doing more of the singing. I don't know what it is that he thought he was doing, but he wasn't doing shit. It was rumored that he was going to bring out NSYNC. He didn't, but the motherfucker probably should have. It was rumored he was going to bring out Janet. I know she wasn't going to do it, but you probably should have pulled some damn strings, but you did Shit was horrible. <clears throat> I don't even like Katy Perry, and Katy Perry sat here and get, well, actually, you know, Missy Ellie kind of, you know, outshine her. But she gave a better fucking performance than what the fuck he did. Then you have the motherfucking audacity to, while you're singing, I believe it's to the end of time, also have I Will Die For You going. Wanted to do a hologram, but Sheila E. and you know Camp then put a stop to that. Just like you will not, because Prince clearly said that he did not like that, and religiously that is very demonic. So you had a little backdrop that was a last minute thing apparently. <clears throat> but why would you do that, knowing that Prince did not like you? Now there's a lot of people that said, oh well, he has gone on a recent years, recent years to say that Prince was an influence. He said the same exact thing when Michael Jackson 
had passed away. Because before he had said Frank, you know, Sinatra, you know, the Rat Pack and others were musical influence, but neglected to say Michael Jackson. But when you come up with your very first album, Justify, in essence, you pretty much was copying the style of what Michael Jackson did to include his fucking moves amongst everything else. Now, <clears throat> before anybody says anything, I do like Justin Timberlake. Like I said, I have Justified. I have, uh, you know, the whole, what is this, Sex Love album. I forget what the fuck the name is called. I said, I've been drinking. I've had two of these already, so you got to forgive me. And 2020 Experience. But for you to, <clears throat> but you don't acknowledge MJ, but everything you do is MJ. And then you happen to get on a song that he did after his heavenly ascent. <clears throat> you get mad because you do a song called Sexy Back. Prince wasn't saying anything about you, but Prince pretty much is saying Sexy never left. Sexy has always been here. Yet you feel so, like, you were so offended apparently that rather than sit here and say something directly to Prince, because we all know you scared. Even though you appropriate black culture, you ain't got them hands. You ain't got shit about you. You crying ass motherfucker that was sitting here on pumped. I digress. But you decide that you want to shape Prince in a fucking music video. I'm sorry, not in a music video, but in a song. Could you speak up and stop my pumping? I don't think you came in clear. Sitting on the top, it's hard to hear you from way up there. I saw you trying to act cute on TV, just let me clear the air. We missed you from the charts last week, damn, that's right, you wasn't there. It's a sexy, never left, and why is everybody on my shit? It, it don't pay on me just because you didn't come up with it. So if you You do that. <laughs> and unfortunately, I could not find the clip. It's very convenient that after your little Super Bowl, you know, debacle, that the clip of you at the Golden Globes, 2007, <clears throat> happened to disappear. But when Prince won and he was in attendance, you decide to mock him by lowering the mic stand, bending down, making fun of his height. But trust me when I say everything Prince was, you can never be. Because the fact that this man can wear high heels, full makeup, all the good jazz ass out of his motherfucking jeans, and still put all the baddest women in music, and probably could still pull everybody that you pull, <clears throat> and his catalog is way better than yours in terms of who he pull and music. He has put out music with less promotion than you have ever done, and still sold way better than you. But you feel so inclined to sit here and diss this man on more than one fucking occasion. Yet you do this tribute. Not to mention that, of course, it was said that <clears throat> he had apologized to Janet Jackson off screen. That's all fine and dandy. But in front of the cameras, did you also not sit here and throw her under the bus? Please now, huh? Tonight, for the first time, Justin speaks out with a candid account of how he was surprised and betrayed. I, I don't want to be involved in a stunt. That's not my style. You know, I, I don't have any reason to do this. I don't feel like I need publicity like this. And I wouldn't want to be involved with a stunt, especially something of this magnitude. So even if you did apologize, that apologize, like, I'm not Janet. So if she took it, she is a better person than me. Because my thing is for you to sit here and do what you did and publicly try to throw all this shit back at me and then want to apologize in private. Nah, bro, we ain't doing that. The fact that my career, if I was Janet, has suffered, but yours has steadily risen. What? For you to sit here and appropriate black culture, but you really don't <clears throat> pay much tribute. You have actually worked with black artists. But what was Timbaland when you did Cry Me a River? What was T.I. when you did My Love? You damn sure didn't have their asses on stage. So you appropriate black culture, but don't sit here and give any, any, you know, shine to these damn artists. <clears throat> and I got it. You was in Prince's hometown. There's a way that he could have been, you know tributed 
Like the whole lighting up and all the purple was fine. But what you did to sit here and, you know, show what you showed, horrible. But I'm going to leave y'all with this little, last little piece right here. So that's all I got. If I really, really wanted to, I could sit here and go the fuck in on Justin. <clears throat> but I'm not going to because the world has done that and his record sales have done that. So that's all that I have, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. All of what I had to give you guys for Tableaus and Training Topics with T. I will see you all at the earliest, maybe Friday, <clears throat> if... There were some things that I've missed, but I will do my uh, best to come back to you guys on Sunday. So thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a blessed, blessed week. You know, um, <clears throat> keep your head up, secure the bag, all that good shit, and I'll see you guys Sunday. Peace.